as you know, last week, Voyager Digital, yeah, Voyager Digital filed voluntarily Chapter 11 bankruptcy in the U.S. Southern District of New York. So as a result, their shares were pulled from the Toronto Stock Exchange and things have, uh, have, have, some things have changed since even then. Okay. So due to the company's July 5th bankruptcy filing, Voyager no longer qualifies to trade on the OTC QX international. Okay. This is important. This international part. So let's jump over here to their website. You go on investvoyager.com and what you're going to see is update the website is undergoing updates as we move through a voluntarily restructuring pro restructuring process and work to re restore services on our mobile and web platforms <clears throat> for the latest information check uh check their blog all right then we jump over here so like i said they got pulled off of that <clears throat> trading platform but now they have a new ticker symbol vyg vq on the pink sheets so that's a that's a major downgrade okay so vygvq now if we go over and check their old price here so this voyg was our old ticker which became obsolete july 5th july 5th and it was trading at 33 cents so and their new ticker is okay Voyager Digital on the over the counters on the pinks and trading at 13 cents. So a third of its former price. Give you an idea. And yeah, incredible. Incredible. So it's been, you know, a long haul for this. Voyager Digital, the cryptocurrency company that filed for US Chapter 11 bankruptcy earlier this month, on Friday said its shares have resu resumed trading on the US over the counter market. So the pink sheets, yes. Uh, Voyager Toronto Stock Exchange shares have been halted since July 7th and today being July 17th, 2022, when it informed the exchange it would voluntarily delist after being notified it would be subject to review following the Chapter 11 filing. So it ain't over till it's over. Sometimes things look really, really bad and they, they were looking really, really bad for Voyager Di Digital. But we'll see, can this turn around? It seems to be a trend in, say, in crypto where sometimes it, it doesn't just crash and burn and then you don't hear anything else. I'm hearing rumors of restructuring for Celsius. I didn't see that one coming. So now Voyager Digital is trying to restructure. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. So subscribe to my channel. I'll try to keep you guys updated. I wish I could say more about it other than, you know, it just it stopped trading and now it's tradable again. This is not financial advice. I'm not telling you to get in this thing or get out of it if or anything. This is not financial advice. I'm just keeping you posted on it because I have another video about it I put out. So I'll put that at the end of this video, a link to that just on the end screen. So yeah, so please subscribe to my channel, hit that like, not financial advice, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.